Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you all of my plants. I'm not really sure how to start off this video, but I guess we're just gonna get right into it. All right, so right here with me, one of my favorites. I am a beginner plant owner, I guess. So I am not really sure about their scientific technical names yet. I just kind of call them by their nicknames. Anyways, I know that this is a Calathea, but I'm not really sure what kind of Calathea, but I know that she is called a peacock for like a nickname, I guess you could say. Zoom in to her pretty leaves. Um, yeah, so she is probably one of my favorites just because I love a lot of full and pretty leaves. She hasn't gotten too high maintenance or confusing yet. Um, I'm trying to remember how long I've had her. I'm not totally sure. She's just so pretty. Okay. This little gal is very just very dramatic. Um, her nickname is a pink polka dot plant, or I'm not sure if it's their nicknames, but I know it's not their technical names either. She, I've gotten to know her very well over the last couple weeks I've had her. She likes to droop if you don't water her very often. I know that, I think it was come a week or so that I didn't water her and so she just started drooping a lot and just looking very sad and droopy. So I just watered her and she propped right back up the next day. So I think this is the one plant that I have to water so often. This one plant app that I have said to water them every 11th day and I don't think that app is very accurate because like every plant I have has said that on there except for my aloe vera and my snake plant so I guess it's kind of just like a give or take kind of thing it's every water every 11th a day I have two snake plants this is my first one that my coworker propagated for me I'm not really sure how they're supposed to look or how if they're supposed to be droopy all the pictures that I've seen of spider plants are super droopy like this but my other one let's see if I can my other one is more propped up which is just I'm not gonna zoom in. it's not gonna focus this one is more like propped up. I'm not sure if it's cause she's not as long as the other one. This one I got at an indoor plant shop. And then this one my manager gave to me, my coworker. Um, so this one's a little bit longer. So I think they just kind of just droop when they get bigger. I don't know. I'm not really too sure, but they're so cute and they're so pretty. The next plant, and guys, I've gotten these plants over over the course of like not even two months. I started my plant obsession in December. I bought I think my first plant. I don't remember, but after I bought my first plant, it was over. I just, I kept buying them and now I don't have enough room for more, which is very sad. I, I can make room, but yeah, I have a lot right now. Um, so this guy, I believe this is a, 
hot dogs? I have to check. And please correct me if I'm wrong because I obviously don't know my shit. There's this plant app where you can take a picture of the plant and it'll come up with the closest picture to it and then it'll like name it. Okay, I believe that this is a golden pothos. Again, no technical, da, da, da. no technical, oh my gosh. Obviously the word technical is very technical. Names, I don't know any technical names. Uh, but she, my mom propagated this for me and her golden pothos is so pretty. It, I believe it's in a hanging pot and it's just, hanging down and it's so pretty it's so big well it's not so big but it's pretty big and it's so so pretty next i have this little i guess it's a succulent right i liked it because it was kind of in the shape of a heart i'm not a big fan of succulents just because like i said i like big bushy foliage i think that's what they call it but yeah, I like a lot of leaves and just very full and pretty. This thing I've had for a little while now. I haven't killed it yet. Yeah, but her colors are pretty. She has like a kind of like a yellow apple color on the sides. And then in the middle is more green, dark green. So she's pretty cute. Again, I'm not a big fan of succulents or cacti too much. I remember I had this cacti and she was pretty. She was a big, just a big ball of pricklies. And she survived a lot of trauma. I think I had her, I didn't really water her that much, which was good. That's probably why she stayed alive. I wasn't a very responsible plant owner back then which is why I didn't really have that many plants. I was like, oh, cactus is cool. Uh, but long story short, I put her outside of my window on my roof because she got spiders or there were spiders on her and there kept, it kept attracting, attracting bugs. So I thought it was gross. So I just threw her outside on my roof. And then she fell off my roof she survived. Some of her pricklies fell off of her, broke off of her, but she survived. And I guess she survived through, I'm not sure how long I had her out, outside, but she survived through the rain because it rains here a lot. And the rain, the cold. So I don't really know what ended up, I don't, I don't know if I threw her in the trash or just kind of buried her out in the front yard or something. I don't know. Next plant we're gonna go over is my sad Venus flytrap. Oh, it's so sad. It's so dead. Okay, so quick little tip, I guess. She, right when I, well, I've, I've done a little bit of research on her and I guess that she doesn't survive or venus flytraps die easy and they're not really easy to take care of i was excited because i got her i work at a pet store so i got her a lot of dried mealworms so i was super excited to feed her i fed her she was closed for she's still closed but as you can kind of see her Oops. She closed up and I was excited because she looked like she was eating it and sucking the nutrients out of the mealworm. But she stayed closed for a while and it kind of just, oh, I can see that. She kind of just died. I, I don't, the thing is, is the first, 
couple weeks I had her, I was reading up and I was like, oh, if you cut the dead leaves, then maybe it'll put more energy into the bigger leaves and the better leaves and make those healthy or whatever. No. So I cut all the black ones off. There's a lot of them. And then I ended up reading that they go into, I forget the word, but I guess they go into this like hibernation during the winter and they turn black. And so I guess they can, they can either be dead or they can be in that state of hibernation. So I believe that they were still alive. They were just in hibernation. So I cut them off. That was kind of sad, but yeah. So I'm not sure if she's dead or if she's just in that hibernation state. I don't know. I'm just not messing with her too much. I keep watering her and uh, I can't really feed her because none of her heads things are open. So, uh, and they're all just kind of black and sad. So I love that plant. It's so awesome and it's so awesome and fun to see such a, such life in a plant, same with the pink polka dot. It was kind of exciting to see how active she was and how live she was. So. Next here, another one that my coworker propagated for me. I'm pretty sure it's called an arrowhead plant. She's a little bit more droopy than when I first got her or when she was given to me I'm not sure really I keep her moist a little bit um, she's not really turning brown or anything well maybe a little bit and this leaf is kind of yellow and sad and probably almost dead so I don't know the way to her heart yet so I don't know. Might figure it out sometime soon. All right. Next bigger plant that I have is my umbrella tree, which my mom also gave to me. I think she propagated this, I'm pretty sure. Looks like there's many, like four different I don't know. I don't know what to call them. I don't know what to call anything. This is my plant. It's called an umbrella tree. Uh, oh yeah, so I just misted them and they're all nice and moist. Triggered. Okay, anyways. Yes, this is my umbrella tree. She's a little bit more droopy than when I got her. So, oh, like some of her sides are drooping. The middle kind of is stable, I guess. But she's pretty. Um, her stems uh, is kind of cool because it's like it looks like bamboo. This guy, I need to repot really bad. I've had this one actually. I've had it. I think it's called Lucky Bamboo. I've had it for about a year, almost a year, and she's gotten bigger and she hasn't died yet I just I think I was reading that a lucky bamboo needs drainage but this is the pot that I bought her in and it has no drainage I just keep the water filled to the top I haven't really looked at her roots at all so she might have root rot but she's not dying so she's growing she's very beautiful <clears throat> but when I got her she was tiny her roots are starting her roots are starting to come out of these, this little thing, this little jar, whatever it's called. But yeah, she's pretty and I'm very proud of her. Very proud. Put her up there for a minute. All of these are 
in very very indirect light they're in they're by a window but my window it's snowing again my in front of my door my window door thing back door my back door is a building and the sun sets over here no it rises over here and it sets over here and then the buildings in front I'm not sure what directions those are I don't really care but I don't get a lot of light in here but I get some that's brighter today too because it's snowing so it's fun my Chinese evergreen I love this girl she's so cute and so pretty a lot of leaves have fallen off of her I've had her for about a month I think maybe a little over a month she's not dead but a lot of her leaves have fallen off and it's really sad because I don't know I just feel like I'm killing her sometimes but she's so so pretty I love this plant again the full leaves is my yes I love full leaves this girl my aluminum plant is being very difficult right now I'm not sure how or why what's happening had her for a little while she did really good for a little while I'm not sure if she'll she requires water more frequently because I think ever since I've gotten more plants I sounded like somebody knocked on my door but yeah ever since I've gotten all these plants which don't require as much water I, I don't think I've been water watering her as frequent so she might be dying because of that like she was super droopy and then a lot of her leaves fell off and now they're just kind of browning at the tip not exactly sure i fertilized her too so she looked a little bit better after that oh we got some new leaves on the top but yeah so her leaves are just kind of browning it's kind of sad this one especially i don't know I don't know. What do you want? I don't know what you want. A few more. I have my my set. Try to keep you alive. You have four leaves left. My Florida beauty. I don't water her often. I keep her in a humidity tray. And she has drainage holes. All, all of these plants have drainage holes except for the lucky bamboo. I don't know what's going on with her. She might need more light. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just kind of see how she pans out. But she's so pretty. She used to have so many leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, she's in a little humidity tray, so we're, we'll, we'll leave her be. We'll leave her be. Two more plants I have. I have my beautiful aloe vera plant. I love this plant so much. She's stabilized a little bit more since I've had her. I think when I bought her, she was super droopy and she's kind of starting to perk up a little bit more. She was super, super top heavy. Um, still in these leaves here kind of droopy this one because it's kind of like something something's right there but that's I've had that that's been there since I've had her okay gosh but yeah I don't water her very often you're not supposed to water aloe vera plants very often um, same with snake plants and that is my last plant this girl she's I think she's thriving personally I think she's thriving I think right when I got her, I put her in a pot with no drainage holes. And then I did research and they were like, you need drainage holes because they can't sit in water. Really, none of these plants can. Okay, this video is too long. Anyways, last plant is my snake plant. She's so pretty. She's getting so tall. She's pretty 
just low maintenance. I mean, same same with my aloe vera. Like, they don't need a lot of water. They just kind of need that indirect sunlight. And, you know, just kind of leave them be. And a lot of my plants, too, before I was doing research on them, uh, I was watering them way too frequently. The top of their soil just kind of def like formed this white mold on top of the soil. Okay. My dog is annoying sometimes, <clears throat> but I love him to death. As I was saying, the top of the soil was forming this white mold, and so I think that might be because I was watering it too frequently, but I'm not sure. Um, I started watering them less frequently, and so it, like the mold kind of stopped happening. I don't know, if you know why or how or what I'm doing wrong, please tell me because I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm new. Please don't hurt me or be mean. But yeah, so that is that. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you did. <laughs> I'm awkward, by the way. Really fucking awkward. Oh, and also a tribute to my very sad poinsettia. She's dead and very dead, very dead, very dead and sad. I just keep her by the window. Maybe she'll come back. I don't know. I don't really care about her too much, but I don't want to throw her away. Because she has these little, like, I don't, I don't know what these are, but they're like little tiny sticks. <laughs> Roots, maybe? I don't know. Coming out. I need to, oh my god, I need to water this thing. I think they're roots. I'm gonna water her. Maybe she'll come back. I don't really care about her because she's toxic. And we don't we don't deal with toxic plants here, okay? We got a cat and we got a dog. <sighs> that is the end of this video. That is it. That is all. Pretty boring. Pretty basic. So hopefully in the future I do I do wanna do some more plant videos. Hopefully I'll have time. I want to really, really prop. I want to propagate one of my plants. I kind of want to try. What was the plant that I wanted to try to propagate? What was it? There was one plant I had in mind that I wanted to propagate, but I don't know. I think I wanted to propagate my Chinese evergreen and see how she did with that, and kind of learn off her, and kind of learn. Yes, the propagation. The propagation process. But she has like this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm not really sure. I think it's different for every plant. So some you can cut off their leaves and then start growing it in water and they'll grow roots or some you have to kind of go lower down to the root. I don't know. I gotta do more research on that and see how or just kind of separate that plant out of that pot and I don't know, just give her her own pot and room to grow. So yeah, that is it. I'll see you in my next video, maybe.